What's up guys, I'm putting it on this is why I love YouTube channel and we are with the 16th episode of Hacker Rank Challenges Solving Hacker Rank Challenges with Python or in Python So in this video we are solving divisible sum pairs challenge So we will be given an array that looks something like this Okay, first we'll be given contains two space separated integers which are n and k then the second line contains n space separated integers describing the values of array we will array like arrays index 0 array index 1 up to array index n minus 1 so the output format would be so i will we'll get to the sample right now just um, so the print uh, the output format will be print the number of i and j pairs where i is less than j and a index i plus a index j is evenly divisible by k. So let's take this input, sample input. We're getting n and k. Okay, so n is the 6, k is the 3. n is basically the length of the list, okay? Then we'll be given 1, 3, 2, 6, and 1, and 12, uh, and 1, and 2 as a list. So the sample output would be 5. Why 5? Because we have okay let's see so we have 0 and 2 okay index 0 and 2 gives us what 3 okay so this result which is 3 is divisible by k so divisible without remaining i mean or also known as divisible evenly so then we get the index 0 and index 5 so we get 1 and 2 this gives us 3 we have also 1 and 3, this is 1 and 3, gives us 9. We have 2 and 4, this is 2 and 4, this gives us 3, and this gives us 3. And since all those numbers are evenly divisible by k, so those are the, the pairs, okay, or the divisible pairs, which are divisible by k. So the sample output would be the amount of pairs we have. Perfect. So now, what we want to do over here. So, oh my god, I just removed the colon. So array, we have the array. We have n, we have, we have k. So first thing we want to do is keep track of how many pairs we have. So we'll make pairs counter. We'll make it zero. Since we start without, without any pairs. Then we want to loop through the range of okay n which is the length of the list minus one we don't want to go to the end of the list because we're not like keep a distance since we are working with pairs so we'll go up to n minus one then we will go from for x in the range of i plus one one up to n so so this this the i would be the first okay we can call this j so we get the idea so for i in the range of n minus one okay and then for j in the range of i plus one so we're going from the second index that's after i up to n so this would go minus one so we will not get the last index this would get the last index and this would be ahead of this by or so the j will be ahead of the i by one index so basically we are getting the two pairs so so we've got this we want now to check if which is right here as it mentioned is first we want to check that i and j are pairs where i is less than j and a or the index of i and a in the array and the index of j in the array if we sum them up we will get a number that is evenly divisible by k so we'll check if array i so the index of i in the array plus plus the array that's the index of j okay So if this, if we sum this up 
and the number is the number module k equals equals zero so what we're checking here is if we sum the index of i in the array and the, the index of j in the array and we divided that by k the remaining is zero so that's mean it's evenly divisible if that's correct then what we want just to do is the pairs counter we want to increase it by one and once we finish all of this we just want to return the pairs counter let's run the code now hmm got a problem oh okay for i and the oh, what's the problem syntax that's kind of weird n minus one run code hmm all right, all right, all right, and okay, whoopsie, run the code now, just in case, okay, okay, my bad, here we should, okay, let's get this back, we want to first do the, the sum, then do the, uh, the division, okay, or the module, because if uh, since this the parentheses were here it got them in order and since module is has more priority than the so the addition it does this first then this so but what no we want to first make the, the addition or the sum operation then we want to do the module let's run the code now nice let's submit the code awesome guys so yep that's it for this video hope you've liked it so don't forget to hit that like button or make sure to hit that like button and yeah see you in the next one peace out